Mexico, as soon as you enter to Ticayo, it's a whole section of like stationery. And um, it's just kind of like Tokyo hands, um, but a lot of stationery. It has like all kinds of notebooks of all kinds, like super cute. Um, and then like washi tapes, but these are the ones that I'm going to uh, <laughs> to get right now. So this is the section where there's like a lot of um, stationery and uh, washi tapes and everything is cute. Not exactly sure what these are, but uh, magnets, maybe for your fridge. <laughs> They're adorable. So this is the section where it's a lot of stickers and stationery and note pads and stuff like that. And they are all adorable and cute. And uh, it's just everything's adorable. And you kind of want to buy everything. Okay, so now this is the section where there's like aisles and aisles of pens of all kinds of colors and pens and markers and postcard markers, which is the ones that I usually use. Um, so here are the, uh, the postcard post markers. So I use those. Um, and then more pens that you don't even know what you will need them for, but you definitely need to buy all of them. And then there's another aisle coming up this way. And then they have the friction, uh, the friction markers, uh, pens, and then just markers of all kinds of sizes and colors. So any pen that you ever imagine here. So now we're moving on to the second floor, which is art supplies. Okay, so as we walk into the second floor, there's just color pencils galore, like Faber Castell, um, Holbein. Holbein is a Japanese brand that I really like for watercolors, um, but I guess they also make pencils, color pencils. I guess um, more markers, Posca markers, the ones that I use. Um, the prices are roughly the same as Tokyo Hands, I want to say. Like I remember, I bought, um, I bought this set. Uh, I think for the same money at Tokyo Hands in Osaka. Um, but then they have all this other stuff. towards buying this don't know what it is I think it might be oh poster color those colors okay so this is the marker kind of section okay so I just found these uh, these markers that um, they're called Everfine and uh, they're very fine markers um, I've never seen them before so I think I might uh, give them a try and they kind of just do um, like very fine I think they have the potential of doing very fine detailing, um, so I think I'm gonna get them. So this is the section where it's like Japanese brushes and Hokkaido brushes, basically. I wouldn't say that this is particularly a cheap store. Like, I feel like it's just the average 
um, price but like they have these uh, calligraphy brushes um, I mean, they're kind of cute but whatever and then whoa oh, these are nice uh, also kind of calligraphy calligraphy uh, brushes made in Japan but it's um, they already come with pigments which I think it's uh, it's pretty cool I kind of want to buy one but I don't know how much they are I think they're five dollars each which it's a little bit on the pricey side and these are two dollars each so two dollars for like a brush I don't know um, then they have more like the traditional kind of um, calligraphy brushes and um, and then they have the Sakaido ones which are these um, and they uh, I mean they seem they seem kind of okay I would maybe buy this one um, I don't need it but then they have I guess more a little bit more fancy ones um, this is not a Kaido brand, but it's also a Japanese brand. Um, it looks, I mean, it looks good. Um, I just don't need any more brushes right now. Um, then there's gouache, spray paints, kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's a lot. Okay, so really the rest of the store is just like architectural supplies, like tracing paper and kind of different papers and cutters and stuff like that. So. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Let's move on to the third floor. Okay, so now we made it to the third floor, and this is all where um, the art supplies actually are the like oils and watercolors and uh, sets uh, for artists, for like beginners, like little sets. And um, there is a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. It's an entire floor on all kinds of paints um, so I'll just show you guys around a little bit this is kind of like a giant Michaels um, okay this is I think we made it to the watercolor section no oils sorry It's just a ton, and then easels and bags. Uh, okay. Ooh, pigments. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and choose some pigments because I wanted to buy some pigments anyway. Okay. Okay, so there's actually like three aisles of brushes, and I think they are they go from like um, like kind of cheap, not so good quality, to very good quality. So, um, and being that I can't read Japanese, I don't know exactly like what they're for. They might be for oils, they might be for watercolors, I really don't know. Um, so I'll just show you guys. So I'll just show you guys kind of like the variation of quality in the brushes. So for instance, this is like the budget kind of, um, and this is, um, it's kind of fussy. It's still, I think they're all Japanese brands, um, but uh, I, I don't really like this. Like, I wouldn't buy anything in this section, but um, so this is like the budget kind of aisle. Then, move on to this aisle. And again, I don't know what these brushes are for watercolors or oils or acrylics. I really don't know, but I'll show you guys like all the options that there are. And brushes. This is a Japanese brand. This is a Japanese brand. Um, it looks okay. It seems like it's for like uh, it might be for acrylics because it's like really hard. Um, so this is about ten dollars a brush. Um, then I think this is kind of good quality, like artist quality, and it's by Holbein. Um, it's natural hairs I believe but and this one is $17 so it's still a good price it's still really good I think this goes no, I think this goes up here anyway I think this is these are all um, natural hair type of brushes um, then 
there's a whole bunch over here, and a whole bunch over here, and then a whole bunch over there. Um, so it's just really hard to choose to know exactly like what to buy. Um, these look kind of good. Um, these are by Namura Tokyo, and it's twelve dollars a brush. So it really isn't that expensive. Um, then we move on to these are like the fancier ones where um, you can kind of see the quality is a lot better um, sometimes I think I think I have this brand at home um, as the clear ones and you can absolutely tell that the you can absolutely tell the quality like the bounciness um, and I, I really like these kind of brushes um, like when they like bounce and they're really soft um, so that's that and this is one of my favorite kind of brushes it's the brand uh, Resable by Holbein and um, I don't really need any more brushes right now uh, but it's really good quality brushes I really like these and this one runs for seven, about eight dollars. Um, I might get some brushes just because um, you can never have too many brushes, right? Oh, and this is one of my favorite, favorite brands. Um, they don't have any of them open, so I can't show you, but it's the... Um, a r t e t j e um they're synthetic but they are really awesome i really like these and this one runs for about i don't know 18 dollars i think so i found a section where they have the uh, surakami brushes in all kinds of sizes um, and I think it's super cute. <laughs> um, like there's these tiny, tiny little ones that I might, I think I have it already, so I'm not gonna buy it. Um, these are softer, um, but you know, you can uh, use them. Oh, these are harder, like a harder texture. Um, I don't remember what, I think they're for fabric, but um, I sometimes use them for watercolors and they're not expensive they're like three or two dollars each um but yeah this is where i found them okay so i found another section where there's more brushes and i actually think these might be for watercolors because it's in like in the area for uh washes and um, watercolors so um, there's more brushes so i'll show you the ones that i like these are also some of my favorite um arte arte artich um, these are smaller so I want to say these are for watercolors actually there's this tiny little one um, so there's all these and um, these are like some of my favorites the uh, black receivable by Hobin and you use you see me using these a lot in my videos um, so these are some of my favorite brushes but they have most of them are Japanese brand um, but yeah there is this uh, entire aisle for brushes for watercolors so I'm gonna choose a few and then I'll show you guys what I ended up getting okay so we finally made it to the watercolor section of the store and it is kind of impressive it's like this entire aisle for like the western kind of brand this side is for the Japanese brands of watercolors. So I'll show you more about the Japanese ones because you all know about the winter navy ones and Pagan and all that. So I'll just show you the Japanese. Mm, most Japanese um, brand watercolors come in these sets uh, of the long pants. And, and this is actually super cool. Um, and they just come in this like adorable boxes like it's just this like they come in these uh sets and um these are the metallics and then 
they of course come in the individual sections there's also this thing that is it's very similar to Windsor and Newton I guess and then there's this tiny little round ones in terms of quality I don't know I just kind of uh, these are the ones that I buy usually I don't know the name of them again um, but uh, this is what I usually buy these are the Sakaido brand ones um, I again don't know about quality uh, but the pants are um, you know bigger than the normal winter and Newton pants and these come in like uh, this is a $15 uh, set and it is a lot of color for $15 so it's a really good deal this one is 60 $62 but it has like all these colors um, then you know they come in these like fancy little boxes which is really cool um, I might this is $10 which is a really good deal $20 I might get me a set these ones are the uh, about $13 and um, these ones are about $13 they come in like specific palettes um, so I might just uh, get me some maybe like a little set or something and um, I don't know maybe I'll see what uh what i'll get and then there is the section for like the uh brush pens which i really like um just don't need any right now and then that is the section of papers that i'll show you in a second okay so this is the uh paper paper section and uh this is all kind of japanese paper and which is not always just rice paper there's this paper uh made out of bamboo and, and wood and something like that um, so this entire section is Japanese kind of paper and they have this like super cute uh, rolls that you um, basically you roll out you paint and you roll you roll it out basically and then you sort of um, it has this like a uh, pattern at the bottom and um, I mean I don't know what I would use it for I have a really hard time painting on on really soft paper um, kind of like this is it's like let me see it's like really kind of soft paper that it like I, I, I just don't know how to paint in Japanese paper um, so I actually ended up buying um, one of these like postcard size ones just to give it a try but this is very typical of a Japanese um, kind of greeting card a little bit. Um, it's kind of watercolor paper attached to these um, to these frames, and I have used them at the office to um, give greeting cards to office workers, co-workers, and stuff. And it actually works really well. Um, I think I might get some of these just because they're cute and adorable and I might paint something and put it up on my on my store um, it's not that expensive I think it's about seven dollars for a pack of I think about ten uh, so I'm gonna take some of these and um, yeah they come in like frame like they come framed up kind of um, they are this one's really nice. It comes with like a a fan. This one's really cute. It comes in like a fan kind of um, frame and, and circles. There's some washi tape. Six dollars. I uh, yeah I don't know about six dollar washi tape. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what the section is, and then. <laughs> This is adorable. Uh, there's fans, so you can paint them yourself, um, which is cool. Sixteen dollars a fan, though, but so maybe not today. Um, but then there are these other fans that you can paint yourself. These are very, um, 
I think these are very Japanese, so um, it would be cool, but I just don't want to do that right now. Then, my basket is over there. Um, more brushes, but these are like the traditional Japanese calligraphy brushes. Um, I have a few at home that I kind of rarely use, but they're super cool. I really like these big brushes. Um, and uh, an entire aisle of Japanese traditional brushes. So, and inks. I believe this is a, this might be a tray for inks. And then these are brush holders, which are cool but are heavy. So I don't know if I'll get that because they're heavy. Ooh, these are super cute. Oof, super heavy. I think these might be brush holders as well. Oof, this one's super, super heavy. And a Daru mount. It is about $10. Uh, there's these whales. Okay, so all of these are really heavy. So maybe not. Then fabric felt. Um, there's just tiny little brushes. And then there's this gigantic brushes. I think this is where the mineral pigments are, but again, I can't read Japanese. So I'm just gonna have to assume that's what it is. And uh, I'm gonna choose some pigments, but they seem really like high quality. Granted, they're like $8 a bag, but um, if you like, it's really hard for me to show you but they are super like um, fine grain um, I mean I don't know much about pigments but I think I'm gonna get a few just to give it a try so I'll let you guys know what I eventually get so now we made it to the fourth floor the fourth floor is just a whole bunch of frames so just the framing department basically. So um, the framing department for Michaels typically is like a section, but this is an entire floor of framing. Um, so I'll show you guys a little bit. Granted, this is super cool. $15, like some Japanese kind of art, $8. I think it's the same thing that they were selling downstairs. Um, but this is cool and uh, you know like this kind of stuff frames and more frames and you know things to frame with and uh, Japanese kind of art Chinese Japanese Asian kind of frame and art and then the entire floor is just uh, frames. So um, I do not really think I'm gonna get anything in this floor. Um, I can't carry it, even if I like it, because everything is kind of big. So I am just going to move on to the last floor and see what that is. Okay. Okay. So I think we finally made it to the last floor and it seems like just frames and frames and more frames. Uh, so I am not going to buy anything at this store. Like it's a lot of art that has already been framed and a lot of like frame options and all that. Um, so I don't think I, I think I'm done. And uh, I think I'm officially done with this store. I think I spent about two and a half hours or two hours in this store, mostly on the third and fourth floor, which is where the watercolors and the brushes were on the pens and all that kind of stuff. So if you come, come with time. It's like a giant Michaels, six floors worth of things, anything you can think of for all kinds of crafts. It's not particularly cheap. It's not the cheapest store, it's not like a budget store. They have some good prices, it's okay, um, but yeah, so that makes it um, the Sakaido store in Shujuku. So, hope you guys like it, and um, 
I can't wait to show you guys all my videos what I bought. Okay, bye. Okay, so one last thing before I leave this store. I found this section where they have the stamps and um, they are so adorable. There's this whole section of stamps. And they have um, all kinds of like cute pandas and, and congratulation things and, and you know all of that stuff. Uh, they have the uh, like this one, I think it says um, Omedito, um, which is like congratulations or happy birthday kind of thing. Then um, I found this really adorable one. Um, then there's this one I found. So I found this one that is uh, Gambate Mo Mosu. Koshi, mosu, mosu So it's like, um, like go ahead a little bit more. Like you can do it basically, and it's adorable. And I'm gonna get it. And then I found this other one that it's in the uh, section of like received and um, and facts and paid and whatever. And it's mimashita, uh, mimashita, like seen like you stamp and it's like oh I've seen this document before or you know like it has been seen uh, so I'm gonna get it and um, a dinosaur for my friend because I think it's adorable even though she wants a dragon I can't find a dragon so a dinosaur will have to do and then this little this little one um, but you know there's all kinds of Konde inne? I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, so I need to get out of the store as fast as I possibly can. So I finally made it out of the store and I can't wait to show you guys all the fun things that I got. So remember to follow my Instagram.